That's a lot more Spartan than I was expecting. Hey, we do it. Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome to the long-awaited remake of Resident Evil 2. This one is quite a bit different from Remake 1, and you'll see how right off the bat. Uh, once again, this will be blind, but I still know plenty about the development and background, so this will be informative and fun for us no matter what. We're going to start with Leon first. I don't know how different Claire A. Leon B. would be, or even if the two campaigns are different enough to warrant multiple playthroughs, but that's for later. Look, man, I'm serious, okay? I saw this with my own eyes. Oh, I believe you, buddy. I believe you. <laughs> Just tell us a story. Tell us a story. Okay, well, it was last Friday night. I was walking home from the bar, and this woman started coming towards me. She was staggering, you know, so I, I figured she was drunk. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, tell us, be honest now, how many drinks did you have? No, man, I, I barely had a buzz on. Oh, come on. Look, just listen, all right? She got closer, and I got a good look at her. You got to see her eyes, her nose, her whole face. It looked like it was rotting. Yeah. She looked like a corpse, like a walking corpse, man. <laughs> Sounds like my wife. I've never seen anything like it. I haven't been able to sleep since that night. All right, calm down, buddy, calm down. Just, hey, you got to stay strong, okay? Don't give in to fear out there, right? Yeah, well, you got that right. You freeze up around these things, they'll sink their teeth in you. I should attack somebody. Oh, come on. It's just getting good. <sighs> I need some sleep. Oh, shit! around that's weird This is a good atmosphere right away. Uh, so this is following the T-Virus outbreak at the Spencer Mansion in the Arkway Mountains in Resident Evil 1. This one takes place in Raccoon City proper, the metropolitan city in which the Arclay Mountains are located. Hello? Anybody there? Something's not right. Oh, this is so what I'm in for. I'm so down for this. I hear you right on the other side of this door, man. Okay, I'm not going through there just yet. 
let me uh, give this dude a wide berth. You all right? Don't move. I'll be back for you. I'm it. Go up to that door, or try to turn around at the end of this hall, and he's gonna already turn. I love these RE7 prompts. Stop moving. Officer, you need help? Stay back, sir. I got this. Ooh. Damn, that's good feeling too. And yeah, it's just you can see all of the ways in which they they are fully utilized in the RE7 engine. It's weird playing an old school paced survival horror style Resident Evil and having to actually aim. Oh, okay. Now we can get into that. Oh, yeah, that's even the RE7 inventory. Now we can get into that door. <laughs> Wait, that's a different one. This can't be. Ah, oh, shit. Where did that one who was slumped against the door go? He was in blue, right? So that wasn't him. Oh, they even animate all that. This is a really good looking game. Not surprised they're using, uh, I know for a fact they're using the Resident Evil 7 photogrammetry tech. But the lighting too. Oh, oh, oh! What the? Yeah, just because they put this over the shoulder, just oh, oh! Does not mean they sacrificed the atmosphere, and I'm so happy. This is such a positive first impression. Don't shoot! Get down! You all right? Yeah, I think so. Thanks. You can thank me later, when we're safe. Holy shit. I don't know. Hopefully they'll have some answers at the police station. Wait, you're a cop? Yeah. Leon Kennedy. You are? Claire. Claire Redfield. Live around here? No. I'm looking for my brother. He's a cop too. Well, it's a good thing we found each other. I don't know what to expect anymore.
Attention all citizens. Due to the citywide outbreak, you were advised to take shelter at the Raccoon City Police Station. Free food and medical supplies will be provided to everyone in need. Oh my god, this is so unreal. The police station's not much farther. They'll know something. Yeah, but what if we're the only ones? What if there's no survivors? No, there's survivors. It's a big city. There has to be. Looks like we're walking from here. I have to figure out what my quick turn button is at some point. Holy shit, this is beautiful. Okay, good. Shit. It's everybody. They've all turned. Okay, yeah, that spread to seal me off, so I know I'm going the right way. TF? TI? There it is. The station. Oh, look at these rain slick textures. It's one of my favorite things. Especially rain slick asphalt. Oh, man. Really can't get over how gorgeous this is. Oh shit! No. God damn. Here we go with the police department. First, we're gonna see what's around here. Even like the rain coming off the back of his jacket looks just fantastic. And the other thing that you can notice right away is that Leon is not the fish lip dork with the huge shoulder pads from uh, classic RE2. You know why he had those in the first place? It was so he would cut a more unique silhouette. It was a way to set Leon apart without adding to the poly count of his model back in the day. Explore your surroundings. What a good message. I love Hello? seeing. Is anybody here? There has to be someone here.
Not good. David! Marvin! You there? I found a way out! It's in here! Send reinforcements! East hallway! I gotta find that guy. Yeah, yeah, we know. So we're going towards the East Hall, and the Watchman's room is highlighted. Okay. I want to pick these up, because I know I missed those. I also missed uh, something that I walked by a second ago. So we've got some ammo. It's really handy. Can't just combine it. Hmm. Oh, it's first aid spray. Good, good, good. And then on normal, I don't think I need ink ribbons to s deluxe. Ah, uh, we're not going to use those. Uh, on normal, I don't think you need to find limited ink ribbons to save. Yeah, no. Okay, but it it's still manual saves. I forgot to mention, this is this gorgeous... R oh my god, this is from the uh, leading into the garage in RE7. <laughs> I found me again knife and it's gonna do the same animation. Yeah, I don't think I need that key, but then again, it wasn't discarded. Like I got so used to in uh, Remake 1. <laughs> Look at this little puzzle area. You know, this is absurdly, luxuriously huge for a police station. All the way up to, like, the towering vaulted ceilings. What is this? Is oh, what the hell? Can't connect in the inner... I don't care. Okay, don't care about RENET. We're gonna leave that alone for now. So the main hall is gonna, is gonna be kind of our safe space, I'm guessing. Looks like a spade on that door. Ah, that's what I'm looking for. Good. And that is where I'm gonna be heading. I noticed that when I walked in. Gonna guess almost everything else is locked for now. Just the way it should be. <laughs> so as you've noticed by now, this is not a straight remake of the assets of RE2. Uh, and otherwise similar or, you know, featuring the same gameplay. Kind of like, oh, wow, well, that's actually open. Like Remake 1 was. Uh, I honestly wasn't sure how to feel about the remake being over the shoulder. Then I thought back to what I said during the RE7 LP. Uh, which is that Resident Evil is always mutating. And it's maintaining the same kind of pace and atmosphere, so I'm happy. Oh, that's the dude uh, who was mentioned in the video just now, Marvin. There almost was a straight-up remaster-style remake for Resident Evil 2. They were going to give RE2 the remake treatment just like the original, but Mikami knew that it would stretch his team for RE4 thins, so the world had to sacrifice Remake 2 for nearly two decades so RE4 could live. Welcome to Raccoon City. It's home to Umbrella, Raccoon City's vibrant, dynamic city. And this guide will introduce you to just a few of the more unusual points of interest. Okay, so the building in the center of town wasn't always a police station. In fact, it used to be an art museum. Various features, like the unusual clock tower and the goddess statue in the main hall, reminded us of a bygone era. That actually answers my question. It's a few blocks from the police station is an orphanage founded and run by the Umbrella Corporation with the help of generous donations from businesses and citizens alike. The building is known for its stained glass window, which attracts visitors from around the world. That's another spade door. So we're not getting in there for a while. And as usual with horror LPs, I'll try to confine my 
commentary, so I'm not, you know, diarrhea of the mouthing over the tense atmospheric bits and crushing the atmosphere. For now, in the main hall, we're safe enough to where I feel pretty reasonable just going off about what I know. Oh boy. And then as we branch out... Oh, is this going to open it all the way to create an easy shortcut? Not until I get a fuse. Damn. The key on the... having to hype himself up. This is so different from the RE4 Leon I know and love. He is a rookie cop, I believe. In this one, whereas RE4, he was at that point just... just ridiculous, badass super spy. <laughs> Rescuing the president's daughter. Oh, hi. Yeah, more bullets. Yeah, this is gonna be proper survival horror. I'm so happy. Yo, there was that little twinge of worry when they announced it would be over the shoulder that... I mean, I love RE4, but I, at the same time, didn't want this to be RE4. And I'm amazed at how well the, the atmosphere and the tension are working already. <laughs> Who's on the toilet? Oh. Hey, first aid spray, nice. Oh, hold on. Oh yeah, that's right, I think it was the same in RE7, right? That's my quick turn, back in circle. Cool. It is definitely doing the legwork of keeping me on edge already. Very happy about that. Jesus. Mmm, don't like windows in front of me. Not a fan.
Okay, it's giving me hints about that one puzzle. Oh, okay, rad. We have to go. Shit, yeah, the backtrack. Ugh! Crap! Okay, now that he's knocked down at least. Make a left. Jesus. Shit. They're everywhere. Can I even manage to get past them? I don't want to use oh, too many bullets. Wait, where did I? Oh, right, the grate. Oh, my God. This is already going worse than anything in, in, uh, Remake 1, the LP that I did. Where is that fucking great? There it is. started this not a clue but honestly all you need to know is that this place will eat you alive if you aren't careful yeah well I was supposed to start last week and I got a call to stay away I wish I'd come here sooner you're here now Leon that's all that matters okay lieutenant I'm ready hopefully you'll be able to find a way out of this station that officer you met earlier Elliot he thought this secret passageway might do the trick. Mm. This is good news. We can get you to a hospital. No, no, I am not the priority here. Lieutenant, I'm not just gonna leave you here. I'm giving you an order, rookie. You save yourself first. I'd come with you, but I'd just slow you down. Now, you'll need this. I can't take it. Stop. Him. And don't make my mistake. If you see one of those things, uniform or not, you do not hesitate. You take it out. Or you run. Got it? Yes, sir. Hey, there it is. Oh, I don't have to... Oh, cool. The counterattack property. And it's just automatically there. Great. I am right on death's door, huh? Already. That is a great way to establish a threat. And that I am not going to be able to do this quite as easily as I did uh, Remake. So I think that's going to do it for today. Thank you all for watching. Take it easy. Have a good one. I am excited for this.